In this video, we'll discuss mechanical and electrical installation of the ABB ACS180 machinery drive for NEC installations. Please be aware that this video will assume the following. Its viewers are trained in handling electricity and variable frequency drives in a safe manner, are electrically competent and authorized to perform work on ACS-180 drives, are familiar with ABB's precautions and warnings in the drive's safety instructions, user, hardware, and installation manuals, and have a working understanding of the purpose and function of ACS-180 drives. Please review the following documents prior to performing work on the ACS-180 drive. These are freely available on ABB's website. Additionally, ABB has made available swipe guides, which walk the user through step-by-step -step instructions for a variety of topics, including installation. Carefully remove the drive from the packaging. Remove the hardware accessories kit. Remove the terminal cover of the drive to reveal the quick installation guide. These guides will be utilized throughout the installation. Before mounting, ensure the appropriate clearances, as specified in the hardware manual, are maintained to ensure proper air circulation and heat dissipation. There are two ways to mount the ACS-180 series drive. Direct mounting with traditional hardware and DIN rail mounting. We will examine both. For frames R0 to R2, an optional BDRK-01 or BDRK-02 DIN rail kit is required for DIN rail mounting. Align the mounting holes on the DIN rail kit to the back of the drive before installing the hardware. Next, connect the top portion of the DIN rail catch to the DIN rail. Gently swing the drive assembly downward, applying firm downward pressure on the assembly. Last, snap the bottom portion of the DIN rail catch into place and release. For direct mounting, first mark the surface for the mounting holes using the provided template. Second, carefully drill the mounting holes. Be sure to remove any debris that is created by drilling. Third, attach the drive to the mounting holes using the provided hardware and torque the hardware to spec according to the values listed in the quick installation guide and hardware manual. Run the supply power, control, brake resistor if applicable, and motor cable connections to the drive enclosure through their own individual metallic conduits. The ACS 180-04S-1 and dash 4s have an internal EMC filter standard. You can install the drive to a symmetrically grounded TNS system. If you install these drives to any other system, you must disconnect the EMC filter prior to power up. Please see the hardware manual for information on how to determine the grounding system of the electrical power network. Install the grounding plate and fasten it with the provided screws. Prepare the motor cable conductors. Ground the motor cable shield under the grounding clamp. Twist the motor cable shield into a bundle, mark it with yellow-green tape, and connect it to the grounding terminal. Connect the phase conductors of the motor cable to the T1, T2, T3 slash UVW motor terminals. Torque the terminals to 0.8 newton meters. Prepare the input power cable conductors. Connect the phase conductors of the input power cable Remove the front cover. Insert the grounding clamp into the slot and fasten it with the screw. Strip the ends of the control cable conductors. For stranded or multi-wire conductors, install ferrules at the bare conductor ends.
Strip a part of the outer shield of the control cable for 360 degree grounding. Use a 360 degree grounding clamp to connect the cable to the grounding tab. Connect the conductors to the correct control terminals. Insert the conductors into the push-in terminals. To release a conductor, depress and hold the push-in buttons with a flathead screwdriver. Thank you for your attention and for your use of ACS 180 series drives. Have a great day.